Welcome to Greeks Tell All. Today we'll be interviewing Odysseus. May I call you Mr. O for short? Sure, I don't mind. Most people mess up my name anyways and call me Odyssey. Okay, thank you, Mr. O. Our first question is, why did you help the army go get Helen back? Well, in truth, I did not want to go to Troy. I was forced to join the army to go get Helen back. I even tried to get out by plowing my fields with salt, but it did not work since they put my son in front of my plow, making me reveal my sanity. Oh, that seems a little extreme. It was. But what else happened? Like, what happened in Troy? Well, the first who touched the soil would die, so that was not very fun. Luckily, it was not me, though. I threw my shield on the ground and jumped on it, so I was the first off the boat, but not to touch the soil. That was very clever of you, Mr. Rowe. Thank you. Hello, Mr. C. I'm here to ask you a few questions about Odysseus, or Mr. O for short. You may know him as no one. That jerk stabbed me in the eye. Oh, can you please explain what happened? Well, when I got done attending to my sheave, I moved my boulder that acts as a door to my house, and I saw a bunch of men stealing my food. Then he asked where. Then they asked where my gift was, their gift was. Oh, what did you do? I ate them. Uh, okay. What happened next? Well, I ate some more until no one offered me some wine, and naturally, I asked for his name, and he told me, and I told him I will eat him last. Oh. We now want to give a warm welcome to Mr. A, the God of Winds. Thank you, thank you. All right, Mr. A, I'm here just to ask you a few questions about the island of Alias. All right, ask away. Why did Odysseus do to get the winds that you gave him? Well, I have six daughters and six sons, and they wanted to hear some of the stories Odysseus had to tell about Troy and where he has been. All right, continue. Well, my kids liked the story so much, and he had, and he had so many, and he stayed for over a month. Then, when it was time for him to leave, so I gave him, I thanked him by giving him a bag of winds. Oh, did the winds work? As far as I know, they worked until one of the troops got a little too curious and opened the bag. This blew them off course into the unknown waters. Wow, maybe those troops should have listened to Odysseus and not have opened the bag of winds, and they could have made it home safely. Yes, it's a tragedy. All that wind I gave them was used for nothing. Well, we really are appreciate you coming out today to talk about what happened. We will be right back after the short commercial. Are you out of luck and your gas tank isn't full? Come by Aeolus Quick Shop and purchase a bag of wind for $5. This will get you anywhere from 20 to 30 miles of travel on an empty tank. It's windy where we are. Come and purchase this for your unlucky days. Welcome, Odysseus. It's such a pleasure to get to interview you today. Today, I will be just, I will just be asking you a few short questions on your adventure to the island of Lastrigonius. Thanks for having me today. And yes, my adventure to the island of Lastrigonius was well, very interesting, you could say. Oh, was it? The uh, the audience and I can't wait to hear all about it. The first and main question is explain everything that happened at the island you and the men on your ship went on? I had sent some of my men to explore the island and they ran into a not so humble Lastrigunius who were cannibals and ate some of my exploring men. Out of the 12 boats with which myself arrived and on the island, 11 were destroyed and my Greeks on them either drowned or were consumed. Cannibals attack and destroy many of my men and reduce my numbers of ships to just one, which only a couple of my men and I were on, and I fled away from last Dragonians. Wow, that must have been a terrible sight to see. Your men getting eaten a lot. Yes, let me tell you, it wasn't a good time. Well, thank you for your time talking about what happened. We really do appreciate it, as always. Sorry for the loss of your men by the worst possible death. Well, that's the wrap. Thanks for all of your information. Next in line is Cersei. So Cersei, what happened with you and Odysseus when he visited your island? Well, he and his men went to my island and I turned them into swans. You turned Odysseus into a swine? Well, no, he was given a molly from Hermes, which protected him from my magic working on him. So God gave a man a plant so he would be protected from your magic that would turn him into a swine, which is a pig? Yes, well, it was a herb, not a plant. No offense, but it is kind of funny that you that your magic was defeated by a plant. At least I have magic. Speaking of which, do you want me to turn you into a swine? 
Well, since there is no greenhouse or farmer maggots where I can <laughs> buy herbs, I'd rather not. Welcome, Teresius. Today, I will be asking you questions about when Odysseus took a visit from you in the underworld. All right, I'm, a, I'm prepared to answer any questions you have. All right. Well, our first question is, why did Odysseus came down to the underworld to visit you in the first place? Siri had to, to hold him that I could give him some help on getting home since his men disobeyed and opened the bag of winds, which led them off the whole path and they had no way to get home. So he came to me. All right, then why, then what happened when he had arrived? Well, he asked me what will happen on his journey and I told him that he will return home, but all his comrades will die. What did he say? Not much, he was more worried about why his mother was here. Why was she there? She committed suicide since she was so depressed that her son was missing. Well, on that happy note, this ends the first half of our documentary slash interview saying we did. Welcome back to Greek Civil Day 2, and we are back with Odysseus, other known as Mr. O. How are you? I'd be better if I had known the Cyclops was going to be here. Yeah, sorry about that. We were worried that you wouldn't, you would not do the interview if you known, but it does not matter now. What does matter is what you what did you do to overcome the challenge of the siren? Well, I was warned that people who hear their singing would fall in love with it and sail their ships into rocks, so I needed a way to block out their songs. And how did you do that? I told my men to, be, to put beeswax into their ears and tie me to the mast. Okay, I can see how the beeswax will help them, but not the mast thing. Well, no one who have no one who have heard the songs have lived, and I wanted to be the first. So I told them to tie me to the mast, and no matter what I say or do, don't untie me until we were far away from them. That was very clever of you. Okay, so can you give me a summary of what happened uh, uh, on what all occurred at Threnica? Okay, so I want to avoid going to Threnica entirely, but the outspoken Eurylochus persuaded me to let my crew rest there. A storm keeps us <laughs> beached for a month at my first crew is content to survive on its provisions in the ship. When this ran out, however, Eurylochus persuaded my other crew member to disobey me and slaughter the cattle of the sun. They do so one afternoon as I was sleeping when the sun found out he asked Zeus to punish my men. And I, shortly after the acne set sail from Threnica, Zeus kicked up another storm, which destroys the ship and sends my entire crew to its death because of the waves. Only I survived. The storm sweeps me all the way back to Cherdibis, which I nearly escaped for the second time, afloat on the broken timbers of my ship. Thank you for telling me what happened there. You're welcome. I'm here. assuming you have a couple more questions to ask me about my other wanderings. Why, yes, indeed. But we are going to change interviewers. <laughs> Only one more question for you, Odysseus, and it's about what happened after your last wandering in Ithaca. I met my son, and my son and I killed the suitors. Basically, to sum it up, that's what happened. Why did you guys kill the suitors? Because I wanted my wife back. That's why I went on all these wanderings to get my wife back and to return home. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for all your time, for giving us this great information. Thank you for coming and sharing. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Well, that's a wrap. Catch us next time in Greek's Tell All.